Welcome to Coolers Live, everyone. Welcome to another one. In this video, we're gonna discuss three things, right? We're gonna discuss Alex Collado Emerson. We all know Emerson had his presentation today, so we're gonna talk about that a little. And the main point in this video is gonna be about Laporta's words to Elash Mariba. Alright, before we get into all of those nice, interesting stuff, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and let me know what you think in the comments at the end of this video or throughout the course of this video, right? So let's get into it. Alright guys, so we're going to start it off with Alex Collado. As we all know, I've been seeing this in my last two videos that hey, he's going to go on loan. I don't think he will make his recruitment plans and I'm going to explain why. But before I get into that, he's going to go to Club Burge, that's a Belgian club. Right, they play Champions League football. I know it's not the best league in the world. He's not even top five, but they were gonna, he's going to get Champions League experience. So that's very fantastic for him. He's definitely going to come back to the club next summer. He left on a good note with us. He's not playing bad. You know what I'm saying? The club and him, club and him understand completely what's going on, and they agree to the decision. So Alex Collado will definitely be coming back um, next summer and everything. But why Kumi made this decision? It's very simple. Alex Kuman wants Alex Collado to be a winger. Alex Collado is not a winger. He can play there. Don't get me wrong. You can play there, but he's not his best position. His best position is in that inside that midfield area. You know what I'm saying? And that's very congested. So I think Demir is more threatening on the wings than him. A lot more faster. I don't know when when Alex Collado was on the wings, he wasn't really taking on players that much. I'm not sure if he's nervous or what, but he wasn't really doing all of that. But I wish all the best to Alex Collado. I look forward to seeing him in the next summer. Hope he adds something to his game. He needs to be more threatening and more direct in his plays. But let's get into the next thing. Alright guys, so we're going to start off with Emerson right now. <laughs> that was a very emotional presentation today. I don't know what you guys think, but it's very emotional to me. I'm going to explain why. So Emerson is a right back. He went out on loan for a couple of years, gained some experience. He was playing at Real Betis, right? He's very solid defensively. He's not really like that this type of player that we like to bump for it all the time. But I think he, he's very good at crossing. Defensively, he's very solid. And I think those main attributes are going to be the reason why Emerson is going to be the main right back for us. Because why? He's going to play over Des in the main big games. And that's where Emerson is going to make his big name. Because he's better than Des defensively. He's a lot more aggressive. He's South American. You know what I'm saying? So I, I think he's very superior to Des. He's more balanced, more complete. And that's going to be the reason why. I, he, he said Daniel Alves is his idol. He spoke with him and said, wish him all the best. Let's give it his all. He said, Emerson said that this is his dream club. This is a club he dreamed to play for. I'm so appreciative for Emerson. I'm so, I feel so warm with those words. You know what I'm saying? You look into his eyes and how he presented himself today. Him and Laporta, he was happy. His family, the whole board of directors. Everybody was like so welcoming to Emerson. I know that this is Barcelona, we do that for all the players, but I think he was just a little more emotional today as regards to his presentation. So I hope wish all the best for Emerson. And I'm just very excited about his signing because I definitely know that right side is going to be very solid this season. He has Des as his competition as well, and Sergio Roberto as his competition. So all three of them will be fighting for that right side. But I def definitely think Emerson... Alright guys, so we're going to get to the main topic of this video right now. Laporta's words to Ilash Mariba. I won't say this quote unquote exactly how he said it. I'm just going to summarize it up for you guys. Translate to the real way, the raw way, not the professional way. So basically, um, Laporta said to Ilash, hey bro, why are, you, why are you resisting to renew? You're, he's, owning, he's earning the most in La Masia, in history. He's earning like one million per year. He wants to that to go to three times the amount. I don't know. I think he should get a new agent, to be honest. But if this, re but he's part of it as well because he hired an agent, so he advises his agent on what he wants, and he wants more money, and he's getting a lot of backlash for it. So Laporte is saying, "Hey, bro, you want to rethink your decision?" He told that out to in the um, the Emerson presentation today. He's like, "You better rethink this because if you're gonna leave." It's going to be in conditions. He can't come back. You know what I'm saying? And everyone who leaves Barcelona always regrets it, especially in this type of term. He's kind of remind me of Xavi, Xavi Simon. Yeah, that guy. He kind of remind me of him right now. He's money grabbing, and I don't really like that. I understand he has his family. He probably has his country. He's 
a national country that he wants to probably help out and stuff like that financially but he's in no position right now he's not a world class player right he's just got a lot of potential and Barcelona really wants him because he's something different from everyone else in that midfield he's physical he's like to take shoot um, shots from outside the box but Laporte is basically saying bro you need to rethink your decision if you don't renew you're gonna regret it basically and Laporte is saying we won't be bullied and we're setting an example right now he's putting it on his foot and that's my El Presidente you know what I'm saying I'm not sure that's the word in Spanish but it sounds Spanish to me so what I'm saying Laporte is putting it on his foot and say bro you need to you know what I'm saying you need to, you need to sign this contract but I definitely think if he leaves he's going to regret it and that might be bye bye to his career because we we gave him that chance to be, he getting opportunities to play in the first team. I mean, if it's not Pedri, it was Elash last season. You know what I'm saying? So the coach definitely put a trust into him and Elash is not really paying, repaying us that. I know he must really want to play for Barcelona. Who doesn't want to play for us? You know what I'm saying? There's other rumors saying Chelsea may be the ones that offer him a larger more fee. And to be honest, to be honest, bro, I think personally he should go if he doesn't want to renew go on ahead i don't think he's more special than gavi pew pedri and other la masia players and i'm saying nico he's not that special more than them but he brings something different and i appreciate that he's very talented don't get me wrong but man what's you gonna do renew or not but i love all la Porta is holding his ground and everything and not being bullied by these players right now he's using elash as an example for now the players that are there now and the players that are going to be coming up in the future. You know what I'm saying? They say the door is always open. We're not going to beg nobody to stay here. <laughs> but that's going to come to the end of this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And let me know what you think in the comments about Alex Collado's loan, Emerson presentation. What do you expect from Emerson? Do you think he will shine this season? And what do you think about Elias Mariba's situation? <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed